Hey kids, Carl here. I thought you might enjoy seeing a time lapse of what it's like going through the locks at Lockport. This is lock 34 that these boats are in. They're about to go into lock 35. These boats are traveling upstream. They're heading towards Buffalo, the opposite direction that I am going in. This particular boat or, or lock, they have six boats in at one time, a couple of them buddied up against each other. I was kind of surprised that they're not rocking around very much. They're not, you know, knocking into the walls. It looks pretty smooth and steady because the water's coming up directly underneath the boats. It's not flowing through the canal like a river. So they're not, uh, they're not getting bashed around. The big boat seems to be moving a little bit, but he's actually almost single-handing it. His wife was sitting there, but she wasn't really doing much. Anyhow, they're almost to the top of this chamber, and then they're going to move into the chamber for 35. This is at five times speed. This is recording at five times actual. It takes about a half hour to go through this lower and upper lock here. Okay, so here they are about to top the tide pool. Now the operator's got to go ahead and open up the uh, gates to the next chamber. And I switched the camera around to catch the gates opening. There they are. And now these guys will pull into the upper chamber. Total drop on these uh, locks is about 45 feet. So that's uh, about the equivalent of a five-story building. They do it in two parts. There's the first two boats, third boat. Fourth boat, that's the big one, I think. No, the big one went through already. And here's the next boat. Okay, so now we got everybody into this chamber. I realize there's a better spot to set up to get a better view of this. I'm going to move the camera and try to get over to a better spot. Ah, there's a big boat moving in now. All right, I'm going to relocate now. Closing the doors. And I move. Nope, over a little more. There we go. Now they barely let these boats get in the chamber and grab the lines on the side. They already start pumping the water and they do not hesitate or wait around very long. They jump right on this and we're getting the water in there pretty quickly. Well, I didn't get to film the end of this because I was, I was hoping to get the boats leaving the chamber. But the bridge operator, the lock operator came over and told me we had to get going. Mike, the guy that was helping me, he and I had to get on the boat and get going. He wanted us to be in the next uh, lock going down, so we had to rush off. But still, you'll see the, the pool filling up here and all the boats rising up. Fairly simple process. With my boat only being 29 foot, I'm convinced I could do that single-handedly without too much difficulty. You know, I could simply grab one line and then just use my engine to keep the bow over against the wall. Not that big a deal. Again, this is lock 35 in Lockport, New York, going up the Erie Canal. And these boats are headed towards Buffalo, New York. So they're heading upstream. Well, and there you go. I got to run and go jump on my boat, so we'll end this here. Hope, please do like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll catch you later, guys. Bye.